Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. A 10-year-old federal ban on semi-automatic weapons expired today. Newslink Indiana's Kevin O'Connor targeted a local gun shop to see the scope of the change. Let go. Business is buzzing at Ludco Gun Shop in Parker City today. Owner Fred Ludington says the new buzz is about the ban ending on sales of semi-automatic weapons. He says it's good for business, but it doesn't really make sense. You know, the guns are still out there. They're still being sold, except with just a 10-round clip. Ludington says he's been selling semi-automatic rifles like this Russian AK-47 for the last 10 years. Ludington explained that only a few of the features on the semi-automatic weapons were actually banned. Features such as high-capacity clips, collapsible stocks, and this muzzle brake, which suppresses the gun's flash when fired at night. Now that the ban has expired, Ludington says manufacturers will go back to putting those features in the guns. Ludington says background checks are what really keeps these weapons off the street. Some customers agree. Background checks are appropriate. Yes, I don't want a bunch of crazy people running around with guns, you know. Ludington says the checks are as easy as a phone call, and within 10 minutes, if customers pass the check and have the cash, they can walk out with a gun, even a semi-automatic rifle. In Parker City, Kevin O'Connor, Newslink, Indiana. While the ban wasn't renewed by the expiration date, some in Congress say they may propose a new ban. Wayne County will use the iVotronics voting machines this November. Voting machine supplier Election Systems and Software says the machines are certified. Federal certification documents should be received by Friday. Originally was concerned Wayne County bought the machines without proper certification, but the company says the machines were certified at the time they were sold. The law changed in Indiana is July 1. Okay. 2003. After July 1, any new equipment that was being brought into the state had to be certified to the 2002 standards. Okay. We had shipped all of this material prior to that July. Wayne County bought more than 200 machines at a cost of $1.6 million. Now here's Ina Segal with a look at our forecast. Ina. For tonight, be expecting a low of 63 degrees, winds out of the south-southeast at 7 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, much of the same, mostly sunny, sunny skies and warmer with a high of 84 degrees. Chris? Thanks, Ina. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 1057 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.